Hi there, I'm NivVisor, and I like to make games. Last week, I made a simulation game in the Unity engine, based on powder simulation games like Powder Toy and Noita. I also made a video documenting the process of making it, and you guys seemed to like it. So I decided to continue working on some new features for the game, and also make it a real framework for other Unity developers to use, but more on that later. First, I added flammable materials, like wood, gunpowder, and oil. And fire, of course, that burns through those materials quickly and turns into smoke. As you can see, each of these materials have a different rate that fire spreads through them, and this leads to some cool behavior when two flammable materials are put right next to each other. Because of some feedback that I got on the last video, I also changed the behavior of smoke, and gases in general, to act more like liquid with inverse gravity, rather than powder with inverse gravity. And I think this change makes the gas look a lot more realistic, so thanks to the people who suggested that. Next I added hydrogen, a flammable gas, and oxygen that reacts with hydrogen to make water. Oxygen also reacts with the new acid-proof static material copper to make oxidized copper, which is not acid resistant. With this feature, me and my community have managed to make an OR gate, which is one of the basic building blocks to use to make simple computers. And I think that the fact that a computer might be possible to create within my game is really cool. After oxygen, I added lava, which is super interesting to watch in my opinion because of all the reactions it has, like you can see here. It catches flammable things like wood on fire, melts rocky things like gravel and ceramic into more lava, turns water into steam, and reduces copper and sand into ash. Now I'm going to explain how I create new particles with the framework I made. The repository for this project is open source on GitHub, so if you want to download it and start modding the game by adding your own particles, you can. The link is in the description. Yeah, so here's how I create a new cell. I go create a new cell object, I'll call it example cell, go to the inspector, set the alpha to 255 because the system won't actually pick it up if the opacity is not at 100%. I can set it to blue, uh, call it cell, example cell. I can set the state of matter here. I'll set it, I can set it to static. I'll set it to liquid. And then uh, I can set the gravity depending on the state of matter. Here in the properties, I can set it to corrode other particles. Uh, I can set it to decay into another particle. Um, I, yeah, so I can also set it to uh, morph on collision, so this is the number of interactions. The morph uh, slow mod is the chance every frame that it will um, morph. The morph collision is the particle that will cause it to morph if collided with, and the morph into parameters are what it, are the particles that it uh, morphs into after colliding with a specified particle. Uh, yeah, so I can, you know, change the number of interactions, tweak the values, turn it on or off. Um, the go through list is just the objects that it can go through. Uh, yeah, so I can just uh, set that to water and steam or an acid. I can set it to be destructible by other particles. I can, I need to drag it into this uh, cell object list. Uh, so that's the cell type database basically. Um, in the canvas, uh, I can make a new button for my uh, particle. So as you can see, this little fire button, it's actually referencing uh, the fire cell object. So I'm going to copy that and paste that back in. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to name it example button, uh, reference the example cell. Uh, oh yeah, I need to drag it down so it doesn't overlap with the fire. And uh, yeah, so I can hit play and uh, show you this particle in action. So yeah, I'm gonna select uh, example cell. And uh, yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna turn on liquid gravity and as you can see here, it's just falling down. It uh, collides with the uh, acid and yeah. Yeah, so that's my process for making a new particle. Uh, feel free to use it for your own custom particles if you want to. Like a user named Knuffeliger in my Discord server, he's been using the framework to make tons of cool custom particles. And, oh, and let me know if you enjoyed this kind of less scripted segment of the video, and you want me to keep doing explanation or tutorial type content. Anyway, the updated version of the game is up on my itch.io page if you want to play it. Thanks for watching. I'd love if you considered liking this video, commenting, and subscribing to this channel. I'll also leave my links in the description so you can join my Discord server or follow me on Twitter if you want to. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next video.